What's going on everybody? Come back. I picked up one of the Stanley Adventure cook sets. But I'm going to do something a little different with it. What's going on everybody? I did it. How's my outdoor crew doing? on this Tuesday afternoon. I am doing great. I hope you enjoyed all the videos from David Crockett State Park. Uh, when you see this video, we've just gotten back from Memphis uh, for Chase's birthday weekend. Um, so, I picked one of these up before we went to David Crockett State Park. Um, matter of fact, I'll leave a link down below, you know, Amazon link, if you want to go buy one. Um, I'm going to start off with the whole thing and saying it's worth the purchase. Uh, if you're looking for lightweight, it won't be your thing. Um, but if you want a sustainable um, stainless steel heavy duty cook pot, this is it. This thing will do 24 ounces. It only measures to the 20 ounce mark, but you figure you're going up as 24 ounces. But I'm going to use it a little differently than what it's intended for, as far as how it's intended. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to retain the lid. First thing it's going to go, these are cool, these are nice. They'll go in my cook set, my big cook set, and they'll stay home until I go cooking major stuff. So you're thinking, well, wait a minute, what are you doing? You're taking your cups away. Well, I know that. But... The small cylinders will fit inside of the cup, which is part of the plan because I want my Burton cook stove to fit down in the cup also. Okay, are you following me so far? And then, and I, yes, I used this on the Burton cook stove this weekend perfectly for coffee. So then you can close up your handle and depends on which one you own. If you have one of the Pathfinder stainless steel cups or the lot lighter Esbet cup. Boom. Look at there. It will also fit down inside this, the Pathfinder cup. Now you have a complete cook system where even if you need to cook in the you know boil water in this cup boil water in this cup or say you fix yourself a cup of coffee boil your water for your food in this one you're good to go um, there's many other different options so now the big test of the big question is and of course i always have my season summit uh spork with me always have a lighter always have a wooden spatula to doing kind of maintenance cook maintenance with always have aluminum full so now you must say well all this fit in your little camouflage cook bag and remember i carry this with me everywhere i go as far as hiking or backpacking whichever one i'm going to be doing i always have that with me so let's see if all this will slide back in here together with adding that little bit of girth right there if not then i'll have to buy a new bag but that's okay fox light like selling me bags it fits now i will say this is kind of heavy especially with the um pathfinder cup because pathfinder cup stainless steel as bet i'm not sure what it's made out of i don't think it's titanium but it's a lot lighter um i've got to get a scale i've got to get a scale so we can weigh things up. But should all fit back in here together. Oh, I caught on the handle. There it is. So I can shove that back in my backpack. These can go over yonder. But there's a cook system with a, you know, like I said, I keep a coffee in here and a hot chocolate snack bar. This is not my main, wouldn't be my main food bag. I just keep a little extras in here. There's a little big lighter. 
and matches upon matches, and that's actually salt and pepper. In case you want salt and pepper. There's tasteless choice. And like I said, the lemon foil, season summit, and then a stirring spatula, wooden spatula, bamboo spatula. Like a so anyway, that's what I'm gonna do with my Stanley Avenger cook set. Is I'm actually gonna get rid of the two cups that came with it and turn it into this. Like I said, all you have to do then is get your uh, cook stove out, shake the cylinder out, and I've been playing with that back and forth to make sure the cylinder is going to come out every time, and so far it has. Um, but yeah, when it comes down to the little cook stoves, that little Burton cook stove has been crazy cool. Um, I don't even know if they even make the stove anymore or if you can even get in. I know as compasses, you can still get as compasses. Um, but it's some pretty neat stuff. I mean, this thing is actually 10 years old, this stove is. Um, so, I mean, I could probably go with a little smaller stove if I wanted to, but I, I, darn. This, um, this Burton cook stove works and works well, and I don't want to, you know, miss, uh, I just, I don't want to diss it. Because <laughs> it works. Um, everything I have said on this thing has been perfect. It sits flat. Even this sits flat on it. Um... So yeah, that's that's my intentions with the uh, Stanley Adventure cook set. So anyways, guys, I highly recommend it. It's a stout cup. It's, I mean, you could probably dent it, ding it, and all that good stuff. But you can a stainless steel one. You know, this cup. I mean, it's got dents in it already. You can see a dent there on the bottom. This is a Pathfinder cup. Uh, matter of fact, I think my Isbat's got a couple good dents in it. Yep, there's one right there. So, anyway, got some more uh, videos to come. I got this this weekend and wanted to uh, show it off. And like I said, I've already used it a little bit this weekend. It worked great. So, two thumbs up on the Stanley Adventure cook set. But now it's going to be part of my cook system. All right, guys, I appreciate you watching. Make sure you subscribe, make sure you share, make sure you like, all them other good things, and go look at those links down at the bottom and help out Mid-10 Outdoors all you can. Um, trying to plan a trip for April for me and Chloe, possibly. Uh, probably also going to be looking at uh, um, another adventure or two in there. And then, um, wow, I got a lot going on. So, we will see you on the next one, guys. Be prepared.